Hey Fancy Beauties and Bowls, welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Gina and we're going to do some organization today. We're going to get this cabinetry together and we're going to tackle that refrigerator. So we're going to let you see what the mess look like. As you can see right here, it is everything. Is, everything is everywhere. It's so jumbled up, I can't even talk right. <laughs> So here we have the ca the canisters, the storage bins, and the adjustable can organizer that we're going to use to get this stuff in order. So most of these I picked up from Roses. I picked up the can organizer from Walmart, and I also picked up the bins from Walmart as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the dishes and we're just gonna pull everything out no need in trying to do this why things are in the cabinet it's just not gonna work plus I have to adjust my cabinets so it's just gonna be easier for me to just go ahead and take everything out so that's what we're doing right here Taking chances tonight I'm opening my eyes and I'm feeling alive You give me all the strength Alright, this box I've had packed up forever ever since I moved here because I didn't want to unpack it and repack it because I wasn't planning on staying. So that's what I was fussing about. I went ahead and took my Lysol wipes, which I am so in love with, and I used those to just clean the shelves and clean the cabinets out really good before we put our dishes back inside. So I'm going ahead and taking out the studs that hold the shelves up in place. I'm just taking those down so I can move them to a different spot. I'm putting the shelf in to see if I can get my plate to fit in there and it does not fit so I have to go back and readjust. I did such and now I can get the plates in easily and it looks great. So now I'm just going to go ahead and figure out how I'm going to place the rest of the dishes on the top shelf, I'm just going to put things that I don't use very often, such as ice cream glasses and plastic cups and mugs that I have for, the, for my grandson. So those are going up top. On the middle shelf, it's just going to be shot glasses, orange juice glasses, you know, a couple ashtrays which I don't allow smoking in the house, but those would be on the middle shelf. And then on that bottom shelf, as you can see, I have my soup bowls and some other plates there and some saucers. And that's basically it. I did later on find some more orange juice glasses and I went ahead and put those in there as well. we looking like right now. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and tackle the real mess that we have going on in the cabinets. So I'm going to go do the same thing. I'm just taking everything out so I can see what's what, how I'm going to do things. I'm taking down potato chips and everything else that's in here that I didn't even know was in here. <laughs> so I moved the canned goods over to the other side. I actually wanted to put those on in the cabinet by the refrigerator, but we opted against that. 
So now you're going to see that I'm taking out the cereal from its original container and putting it in one of the plastic containers that I purchased from the stores. And we're just going to keep moving right along, getting everything organized and in a much better position because things were not running well with these cabinets. awesome if we could move this fast in real life guys <laughs> I know I could use it on a couple of days after week I could really use to be speed along all right so I'm chilling in the background and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna arrange these cabinets I know I want to move the breakfast food over to this side where I am now so I'm deciding and I figured you know what I don't want to really take up time on the camera trying to figure this out so I'm gonna take a time out right about now <laughs> all right guys so i'm back and now we are just going to go ahead and do our plan which is to move the coffee the tea anything breakfast related is going to go on to the left side of the screen hopefully it's left left side for you guys right so I'm just going ahead and putting everything in its place how I want it to go and you'll see the end result here in just a bit because the video world is awesome where you can move right on to the next step and you don't even have to blink <laughs> All right, so here we are guys we're all complete on both sides of the cabinets and I got everything pretty much situated unfortunately it's not my ideal look it's not as clean as I would like it to be as far as the flow of everything because of those gray baskets I don't like those so I'm probably gonna switch those out to something in the clear containers right there I, I just like the clear better than those gray baskets just something about them is just not jiving with me but we okay with everything for right now
so we're to the refrigerator now guys this is the last stop for cleaning so we're gonna go ahead take everything out of the refrigerator get it nice and clean I'm gonna use my wipes I just showed you guys my pickle juice if you guys didn't see that vlog I'll leave it in the corner on top of the video if I remember so I'm just going through the same same thing using my Lysol wipes and going through I'm going to clean up everything that's my hydrogen peroxide that I've never used but I pop, bought it to cleanse my system but then I chickened out and I didn't use it so <laughs> that's why it's still in the refrigerator so once I'm done cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and start transferring things from its original container into the new container and the wipes in the refrigerator. They work just as well as they do in any other part of the home if you were wondering how they work if you haven't used them. So they do work really, really well in the refrigerator. It takes a lot of the elbow work out of it for you, especially if you're not one that's able to get to your refrigerator and clean it a lot. I'm able to get to mine once a month and I do a deep cleaning on mine so I can kind of keep the drink spills and food spills to a minimum so they don't build up on me. All right, so now I've got one part of the egg into the container and I went ahead and put that in there already. Here's the other one. Just wanted to give you a close up of it. And then I had some extra eggs that was left over and I just went ahead and tore that apart and put that on top of those eggs. That container I just showed you, as you can see, I'm using it for my few my fruit which are my apples and oranges and I do have to say in the mountains oh, we have some of the best produce you can find so if you guys are in the area where your produce looks really good and it tastes really good leave a comment down below for me if you would so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the vegetables that we did with the fruit and that's me just putting the eggs on top the extra eggs that I had and I just put those on top yes I did go through and clean the residue off of the containers before I used them because it has just that little glue where the paper was kind of glued to the container so it wouldn't move around so now I'm putting my potatoes my tomatoes my asparagus carrots and things like that in that bin I do need to get another shelf for the refrigerator just so that I have another shelf to separate things as I need them to be separated so this bin I'm just putting in the packaged bacon and packaged cheese your shredded cheese I wanted to have in there so now I'm just going through and taking off some of the shells of the onions off and putting that in a ziploc bag then placing it in that bin with the other vegetables just to keep that mess down because you guys know onions can be a little messy I found this bread container and I wish I would have left my bread in the package and then put it in there but I didn't and it made it colder than what it's normally and I don't really like cold bread like that so I always end up <laughs> warming it up anyway before I make my sandwich I know fun fact right so now I'm going over to the door and I'm taking those things out giving that a nice clean bath because I had some containers left over I figured I'd just go ahead and get that all organized I have my butter in that little shelf there along with the sliced cheese that's in there as well and then everything else is just really nice and neat 
So I hope this video inspired some of you guys to jump on your spring cleaning, get your organization together so life can be a little bit easier for you. Leave me some comments and let me know if you've already started or if this is going to get you started. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, stay focused on God. If you come across someone that needs to have a little happiness in their life, go ahead and make them happy. Stay fancy and stay with us. And I'll see you soon. Never stop the way, yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name. Grasping to a life. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a strive. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Have just begun. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young. For the animals we stand. Let's go back to when trees were swung. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah.